How is up, y'all? Pop and Scratching. It's Dave Boss Reactive. It's Cameron Vid. It's titled Fuzzy Tube is Crashing Out Once Again. Once again. Um, I feel like he needs a good therapist and some type of medication. And, you know, to go chill out somewhere because he's always doing the most. But let's see what happens. Let's look. Fuzzy Tube needs a quick content creation as a whole because time and time again, he continues to show that his mental health can't handle what it takes to be a content creator. Let's <laughs> quit altogether. Now, I'm not sure we're all already familiar with FuzzyTube, but for those of you who aren't, he was once a huge YouTuber back in the 2010s, known for his prank videos, skits, and vlogs. And throughout his career, he's had some pretty big mental breakdowns, one of the most notable ones being on July 15th, 2018, where he was hosting an event, and the event was forced to shut down because of a bomb threat. He also claimed that Drake was going to be at this event, but we all know... Drake was not there. And since the event didn't go as planned, the man started tweaking out on top of a car. And that's when people realized that FuzzyTube is... No, the man is kind of nutty. Like, there's a few loose screws up there. You're heating up your breakfast when I'm heating up my dinner. <laughs> to 2023 Uzi started streaming on kick doing these irl streams and on stream he'd do things like running in the street or spazzing out on his team or even just straight up hitting himself <laughs> my gloves my gloves did we really forget my gloves no your glove is um <laughs> it's, it's, it's in the bag or, right did no there was two it? gloves i only seen one one real one I forgot the left one. I'm about to, I'm about to punch myself. Sneeko, hold my hand. Well, I am about to punch myself. Sneeko, I hit myself, please. Sneeko. I swear to God, I hit my... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Punching yourself because you forgot a glove back at your house is insane. This man is, I think, 34, 35 years old, and he's punching himself because he forgot a glove. That just shows you that this man's mental isn't all the way there. It and this awesome. all led up to one huge meltdown that he had in a hotel room where he called the cops on himself. And when the cops came, he started spazzing out on the cops. He got arrested, and that was pretty much the end of Fousey. He took a long break until he came back on an Aiden stream looking like James Harden, oh and God. Aiden Ross decided to give him $100,000. But that wasn't the official comeback. The official comeback was in June. And after he came back, he was doing fine, just chilling, creating his content, cracking jokes, doing IRL streams, until he crashed out once again, which actually happened pretty recently. Now, this crash out actually occurred when the man was doing a 24-7, 30-day streaming marathon where he would never turn the cameras off. They would always be rolling for just 30 days straight, which is a terrible idea for yeah. someone like FuzzyTube. I mean, the man has had many mental breakdowns i don't think it's really a good idea for that man to have the cameras oh, on him 24 7 for 30 days that is crazy to me now to some people these streaming marathons may sound insane which they are but it's a pretty common thing in the streaming realm them. currently phase just did one for the month of september and theirs went well and other streamers have done them before like kai Sinat has done gaming marathons <laughs> But FuzzyTube, the dude who has issues, decided to do this, and it completely blew up in his face. But what's crazy is that this marathon was only going for about 48 hours, and he crashed oh. out on the second day of the marathon. This man didn't even get into it like a week or anything. The first 48 hours, this man was already crashing out. And one of these crash outs actually led to him getting banned on oh. kick. Now, you may be asking, what did he exactly do to get banned? It's pretty hard to get banned on kick. The amount of things that fly over there are insane. But what he actually did was get to a fight with one of his employees now apparently this whole argument started because one of his employees was supposed to charge a camera during the night and it wasn't charged when he woke up and it started off as a verbal altercation and then ended in a physical altercation over not charging the camera what i expected was at 15 percent before we all went to sleep i told joey to wake up brain so that the camera's fully charged, and then you just tell me that the camera right now is at 15%, and it's been 10 hours. Yes. So how is it at 15%? You charged it at 15 I don't care if that's just that. That's your problem to go in and go somewhere else. Excuse me? I don't have to go in your face. Why would I go in your face? Why would you spit on me? I spit on you. I spit on you? Yes. Why would I go in your face? Why would you spit on me? Why would you spit on me? Why would you spit on me? Now I will say, I understand 
Uzi's frustration when it comes to his camera not being charged when one of his employees were supposed to charge it during the night. But straight up disrespecting the dude, saying that he doesn't have balls, and saying he's not going to be shit, and saying how, oh, I'm an A-list celebrity. Go hang out with your Z-list or friends. I just find that insane. Like, no boss is ever supposed to talk to one of their employees like that. And this man is saying Z-list or friends like he's an A-list celebrity. Bro, you are a kick streamer. Why are you over here acting like you're a celebrity? You're a kick streamer. You would go anywhere in this world without security and you would be fine. You are not an A-list celebrity. This man is acting like he's Beyonce, Travis Scott, or Drake. You're a streamer. You're FoosyTube. Obviously, some content kind of creators have to take celebrity precautions, but FoosyTube is not a celebrity, bro. This man is deranged. That's what he is. I get it's annoying when employees aren't doing their jobs and stuff, and it, it's not really getting anything done for your business, but hauling off and hitting an employee is not a good look. Nobody's gonna wanna work for you if you're over here crashing out like that and hitting your own employees. There's this other clip I saw the other day where Foosy actually slapped one of his cameramen, not in the face, but he, he slapped the camera out of the cameraman's hand because the cameraman got too close to him which is it's just dumb listen you guys know i talk a lot these motherfuckers that are in, on the internet right now man stop getting seen Face. I don't think this is the correct response when someone gets close filming. to your face with a camera, especially your own cameraman. Yeah. Like, I understand we're living in this clip culture society today, but oh, slapping the camera out of the cameraman's it. hand is kind of insane. And also saying, are you slow and screaming at the dude? Like, bro, all you have to say is like, yo, can you just back up a little? That's all you gotta yeah. say. You don't gotta be extreme and just slap it out of his hand and start screaming at the dude. It is not that deep, Fousey. It's not that deep. Yeah. And what's crazy is this man, Fousey, will sit here and wonder why people don't want to be around him but it's like when you see this man acting like a toddler like that why would anyone want to be around him i mean you saw yeah, sneeko's face when the dude stable. was hitting himself <laughs> on his own forehead you're 34 years old bro but at the same time what should i expect from a man who has a tattooed hairline veneers and sucks on his vape like he's a middle schooler like there's not much to expect from fuzi there was this other clip i saw where one of fuzi's cameramen accidentally leaked one of fuzi's features on his upcoming album an yes album. you heard that correctly fuzi tube is dropping an album but yeah one of his cameramen leaked one of his features and Fousey started crashing out on him. Wait till they hear Ferrari. Wait till they hear Soldier. Wait till they hear the song of Mexican OT. The car's ready. Wait till they see you in the studio. <gasps> Close the door. Wait. Wait, what? How long have you been here? Um, just like two minutes. Is it muted or unmuted? I turned off the uh, what is it on right you now? You said it. It's on now. What was it when I was talking? Just the last sentence you said? Yeah. Just the last sentence, that's it. Everybody sit down, please. It wasn't on. Sit down! You asked me for permission to go film outside to smoke your vape. I allowed it. I had a very vulnerable moment with my team. I did not know you crept back into the corner. I just leaked one of my features. That wasn't supposed to happen until three weeks from now. I love you. And I'm gonna try something I've never done. I swear to God on my mother's heartbeat, you would be fired right now. And you personally, I think I would have punched in the face. That's crazy. When you come into a room, you yell, cameras! My life is 24 seven. I'm gonna have privacy moments. I just said something I shouldn't have said. I didn't know you were here, dog. Again, I will say, I understand Fousey's oh frustration because he was no. having a talk with his team and the mics were not supposed to be hot, but the cameraman came back in the sprinter with a mic on, which ended in him leaking a feature on his upcoming album. But saying you're gonna punch the man in the face for that is kind of crazy. Like, nobody cares that your cameraman leaked, that you have a song coming out with Mexican OT that's gonna go triple styrofoam. Who cares, yeah. honestly? Who cares? I feel like the biggest problem with Fousey is that he hires these randoms off the street to help him with his production and he expects them to be top notch when that's not what you should expect when you're hiring randoms off the street. It takes time to find a good team. You can't expect to get that right off the jump when you hire someone in. There's another clip I saw on Twitter where this man Fousey was crashing out on his own fans. Yes, you heard that correctly. On his own fans. Okay, man. Right? You tell it to me. I'm sorry, but calling your own fans dumbasses? Bro, there are only so many Fousey fans in Joshua the world, jumped. bro. And you just lost probably a few of them. You probably lost 5% of your audience right then and there. A Fousey fan in 2024 is hard to find. You can't just be out here getting heated at them like this 
when they're non-existent anyway. Now that clip of Fousey getting into a fight with one of his employees that I showed earlier, that actually caused Fousey to get banned on kick and he's now unbanned. They know if they thump it makes me go bipolar, look at my eyes, I'm gonna boom myself tonight, live. Kick.com backslash Fousey, done. Uh. But when he was banned, he started dropping these weird videos, like this one right here. So, remember how I was doing a 24 7 live stream for 30 days to record my debut album and I hired the best team in America? You know, the team that kicks me out of the bathroom and texts me to say, get the fuck out, it's their turn to shower in the house I'm paying for. The team that live in front of 16,000 people slams the door in my face. The team that tells me to suck their dick and I have to punch them all live. The team that forgets the tell me to take my mental health medication wow, when I ask sure. them, hey guys, I'm hiring you to do A, B, and C, but your main priority, help me help myself. I don't know how to. Don't let me get myself in trouble. Don't let me go to jail. Don't let me go to the hospital. Well, guess what? I got banned in under 48 hours. So I left my fucking Springer and told them to suck my dick. I'm now by myself on the side of the motherfucking road. They didn't appreciate me when I was live. Don't come to my fucking funeral when I'm dead. And like, you can tell just from this video that he's not in the right headspace. And this video is kind of scary because the man is no. saying don't come to his funeral when he's dead. And I mean, that doesn't insinuate he's trying to off himself, but at the same time, it kind of does. Like, what do you mean by that, you know? Like, you left your whole team you and now you're walking around with socks on in the middle of nowhere near a road people are going to be worried and later he actually drops another video where he's more emotional and crying and it seems like he's actually thinking about the consequences of his own actions i've been under so much stress i had promised that he and Akil, i wouldn't crash out like last year and now that i calm down i'm realizing all the destruction that i caused and this happens to me all the time now that my adrenaline dumped and I'm yeah. back to Yusuf and I open Twitter and I see what Fousey did, I'm like, oh, I feel so much better now though. I feel free. I feel so free. What makes this video is weird that he's talking about like Fousey and Yusuf as if they're two so different people, people yeah. when it's like, just use me or like I, you know, like, I don't know. It, Fousey, yeah, there's something up with this man. Episode. And I honestly think it's time for this man to just hang up the jersey. Like, it I mean, time. the man had a good run. It but like time. I said, I just think it's time to step away from content. Like, he always comes back to content saying how he's a changed man. He starts going great. up with the content, starts getting clips and going viral. Has spurts where he has these little meltdowns. And then he has one big meltdown. And that meltdown leads to a break. And he comes back and does the exact same thing all over. Again. And it's been happening for way too long. This cycle has been repeating for years, years and it's starting to get annoying. And I also find it annoying how many chances people give this man. When are we just going to label this man as an okay. idiot who can't control his emotions rather than just blaming everything on his mental health? Because I mean, that's valid, but I mean, you can acknowledge that he clearly has some type of mental health issues, but you can also be like, mm, I'm over all of the, the fuckery and the nonsense and people who are in his life, they can be like, hey, I'm, I'm going to love you from afar because you're doing a lot. I want to be a part of this. This is really toxic. Uh, but yeah, I, I do wonder at what point is he going to grow up? And it's, not everything is about content. I get this is what's keeping his name out there at the moment, but you're going to completely disregard your mental for the sake of some views and some money, which is clearly not making you happy because you're breaking down barefoot on the side of the road. So, this isn't going well. <laughs> but, sure, we'll see what happens with him. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!